Techno Teacher JA has a new telephone number. The new telephone number is 857-7137. Or you can email us at Jamaica Island Wide Link at yahoo.com. So Techno Teacher JA has a new telephone number. The old telephone numbers are no longer our numbers. The new telephone number is 857-7137. And this number uses WhatsApp. So this number uses WhatsApp and it's 857-7137. Or you can continue to email us at Jamaica Island Wide Link at yahoo.com. Remember that you can have classes with us. You can either have class in person or over the telephone. These classes are available, whether it's in person or over the telephone. These classes are available island wide, anywhere in the island, anywhere in Jamaica. Telephone classes last for about two about half an hour per class. Telephone classes last for about half an hour per class or longer if you choose. It starts from two thousand dollars per month. Two thousand dollars per month for one hour class per week. For for one class per week, one half hour class per week. Two thousand dollars per month. Anywhere in Jamaica, anywhere in the island. Pay for it to to our Jamaica national account. Pay for pay for the classes, pay for the telephone classes, or the un, or the in person classes to our Jamaica national bank account. To have class in person, you can have class for two hours each class, any day, any time you choose. Any time between eight o'clock a.m. and eight o'clock p.m. Any day of the week, from Sunday to Sunday. Class, pers, class, classes in person can either be with a class, a, a full set of class with other persons in it. That means you will come to us or we can go to you. To come to us, it would be $1,000 per class. $1,000 per class. Two hours for the class. Two hours. Any time between 8 o'clock a.m. and 8 o'clock p.m. Any day of the week. Sunday to Sunday. Or we can go to you. We can go to your location, your house, or wherever you would like us to go to. To go to you, it would cost $2,000 per class. That's $2,000 per class. Any day of the week, any time between 8 o'clock a.m. and 8 o'clock p.m. Classes can be any grade of primary or prep school, prep, reading for adults, reading classes for adults, teenagers, or children. So adults, teenagers, or children can have reading classes, prep classes, classes for any grade of primary or prep school, as well as persons doing the art aptitude test can have classes with us. We will help you with your art aptitude test. Pay for it using, pay for it using our Jamaica National Bank account. You are also invited to purchase my set of 50 GSAT pass papers or pet papers and pet papers. 50 GSAT pass papers and pet papers, about 50 papers for only $4,000. Only $4,000 for the set of about 50 pass papers, GSAT pass papers, as well as pet pass papers. Send, send send us a WhatsApp in in send us a photograph send send us a WhatsApp an email send us an email telling us which email address you'd like the email sent to you will receive these tests by email send us an email telling us to, from the email address that you'd like the test sent to and that way we will have the email address right and ready to send it to 
So send us an email from the email address that you'd like to send to, and we will, we will have that email address right and ready to send the test to. So we will send you an email of the 50, of the 50 GSAT and PEP pass papers. You will receive the emails the day after payment is made. Send us a photograph of your receipt to email or WhatsApp. The account number is Island Wide Jamaica National Bank account number 00111144042 Afre Tree Branch account holder's name Richard Sharp. Again, send send us send make payment for anything for classes or pass papers at any branch of Jamaica National Bank. Account number 00111144402, halfway tree branch, account holders name, Richard Sharp. Send us a photograph of the receipt in WhatsApp or by email to let us know a proof that, that would be proof of your payment. So send us a photograph of your receipt after you have made payment. In WhatsApp or by email as proof of your payment. You may make the payment online or you can go into the bank and use the drop box, use Jamaica National drop box to pay for it. That's a quicker way to pay for it. You don't have to use a teller, you can use a drop box and pay for it, and you can and you can make payment online. So, remember, te Techno Teacher JA has a new telephone number. The new telephone number, and this is a WhatsApp number, so Techno Teacher JA has a new telephone number. The new telephone number is 857-7137 or you can continue to email us at Jamaica Island Wide Link at yahoo.com
hi again. Welcome to another in the Pet Mathematics Summer Series compiled by Techno Teacher JE. This is question number 97 out of 150 questions. This question asks The length of one page of the newspaper that the school's newspaper club sells is 16 centimeters. If the area of one page is 144 centimeters square, what is its width? The choices are A, 13 centimeters, B, 11 centimeters, C, 4 centimeters, D, 9 centimeters. Again, the question and choices are the length of one page of the newspaper that the school's newspaper club sells is 16 centimeters. If the area of one page is 144 centimeters square, what is its width? The choices are A, 13 centimeters, B, 11 centimeters, C, 4 centimeters, D, 9 centimeters. Do you know how to calculate the width after you get the length and the area? I will give you about one minute to come up with your answer. After about one minute, my answer will come up and then you'll have another minute before I come in again and explain my answer. Did you come up with the correct answer? Again, I will read the question and the choices. Then I will read my answer and then explain my answer. The length of one page of the newspaper that the school's newspaper club sells is 16 centimeters. If the area of one page is 144 centimeters square, what is its width? The choices are A, 13 centimeters, B, 11 centimeters, C, 4 centimeters, D, 9 centimeters. Now to read my answer. Area is equal to 
length times width. 144 is equal to 16 times n. n is equal to 144 divided by 16. 144 divided by 16 is equal to 9. As 16 plus 16 is equal to 32. 32 plus 16 is equal to 48. 48 plus 16 is equal to 64. 64 plus 16 is equal to 80. 80 plus 16 is equal to 96. 96 plus 16 is equal to 112. 112 plus 16 is equal to 128. 128 plus 16 is equal to 144. Check. 16 times 9 is equal to 144. N is equal to 9 centimeters. Answer. D. Now to explain my answer. The area of a of a of a of an object the area of an object is equal to length times width so the area of an object is equal to length times width the area is 144 the length is 60 or the area is 144 centimeters square the length is 16 centimeters and we do not know the width. The question is asking for the width. We call the width n. That's the unknown number. n is the unknown number. n is the unknown number. We call the width n. We call the width n. So 144 is equal to 16 times n. 144 is equal to 16 times n. And therefore, doing the algebra, you change the sign from multiply to divide. And 144 is the biggest number. So, you change the symbol from multiply to divide. And 144 is the biggest number. Therefore, you divide from the biggest number. Therefore, you divide from the biggest number. So, doing the algebra, doing the algebra, in the algebra, n is equal to 144 divided by 16. n is equal to 144 divided by 16. Let's divide. 144 divided by 16. 16 into 1, you can't. So you cross out the 1, cross out the 1, and put the one beside in front of the four that is beside it. So you cross out the one and put the one in front of the four that is beside with the one. That makes the number 14. 14. Next you say 16 into 14. 16 into 14. You still can't. You still can't divide 14 by 16 because 14 is less than 16. 14 is less than 16, so you still cannot divide 14 by 16. So therefore, you cross out the 14 and put the 14 in front of the 4 that is beside it. You cross out the 14 and put the 14 in front of the 4 that is beside it. That makes the number 144. That makes the number 144. Next you say 16 into 144. 16 into 144. We do not have a 16 time table. We do not know the 16 time timetable by art. Right? We do not know the 16 time table by art. So what we are going to do is keep adding up 16. We are going to keep adding up 16. What we are going to do is keep adding up 16. We are going to keep adding up 16. Okay. So let's see how many times we can get 16 into 144. Let's see how many times we can get 16 into 144. Let's add 16 plus 16 is equal to 32. 
Still as in 3 is 144 as yet, so we add again. 32 plus 16 is equal to 48. It's still as in 3 is 144 as yet, so we keep adding. 48 plus 16 is equal to 64. It's still as in 3 is 144 as yet, so we keep adding. 64 plus 16 is equal to 80. It's still as in 3 is 144 as yet, so we keep adding. 80 plus 16 is equal to 96. It's still as in 3 is 144 as yet, so we keep adding. 96 plus 16 is equal to 112. It's still as in 3 is 144 as yet, so we keep adding. 112 plus 16 is equal to 128. It's still as in 3 is 144 as yet, so we keep adding. 128 plus 16 is equal to 144. It has reached 144, so we stop adding now. It has reached 120. It has reached 144, so we stop adding now. Okay, we stop adding because it has reached 144, and there is no remainder. We can stop add now because it has reached 144, and there is no remainder. There is no remainder, so we, we, we if there was a remainder, remainder we will we will stop. We will hit, we, we, if there was a remainder that was less than one than sixteen, we would stop. You would stop adding. If there was a remainder that was that was less than sixteen, you would still keep stop adding. You would still stop adding. So we stop adding now. One hundred and forty-four. One hundred twenty-eight plus sixteen is equal to one hundred forty-four. So we stop adding. One hundred twenty-eight. Plus 16 is equal to 144, so we stop adding. How many times did we add 16? We added 16 nine times. We added 16 nine times. Therefore, 16 times 9 is equal to 144. 16 times 9 is equal to 144. Let's check. 16 multiplied by 9. 16 multiplied by 9. Let's multiply. 9 times 6 is 54. Write the 4, carry the 5. 9 times 1 is 9. 9 plus 5 is 14. Write the 14. That makes 144. 144. So, so therefore, 16 times 9 is equal to 144. So therefore, 16 times 9 is equal to 144 and there is no remainder no remainder so n therefore is equal to 9 9 centimeters n therefore is equal to 9 centimeters n therefore is equal to 9 centimeters n is equal to 9 centimeters answer d 9 centimeters answer d 9 centimeters I will give you about another minute to review my answer and to make sure that you understand both the question and the answer.
and prepare for G sets and PEP from early. Do not wait until it is just about one or two or three months away from the exam. Do not wait until you your child does the mock exam, the mock test in December or in January or February to decide to get extra help or to get these tests to practice on and to listen to these videos do it from way ahead of the time do not wait until after Christmas to do these tests if you are going to prepare for Christmas three months if you are going to take three months to prepare for Christmas you should take much longer than that to prepare for a test okay so do not wait until it is too late to start preparing start preparing from now start preparing from before grade 4 I cannot stress that enough start preparing from before grade 4 start preparing from now do not wait until it is late now that it is, it is impossible to study for a test for two or three months take two or three months to prepare for a test and pass but it depends on the person okay it depends on how many how much the person knows already some students are way behind at one or two months before the test so it's not a good idea to take chances so start preparing from now start preparing from early start preparing from before grade four I know that you won't wait until the last minute to start preparing for GSAC or PEP, right? Yes, you. You won't wait until the last minute. You won't do that. You might, a, a student might wait, or a parent might wait until a student does the mock exam in December, January, or February, and then he or she might fail one subject, two or three subjects, or all four or five subjects. They might they might get sixty per sixty or seventy percent and just a little work might be needed to improve on that subject or more than one subject in that um at that grade. Or the student might get twenty or thirty percent and have guessed everything. And we'll have and we'll need a lot of work to be done so you're not going to do that you're not going to be caught unprepared you're not going to wait until the last minute you're going to prepare from early start preparing from before grade 4 start preparing from now And don't forget that these GSAT tests are also suitable for primary exit profile. PEP.
subscribe to my channel to get updates of new videos that are available on YouTube as soon as they become available so go ahead and click that subscribe button it's free like and subscribe and also you're invited to share my videos so you, when you when you subscribe when I upload a video for instance if I if the video you are watching is social studies part 2 when I upload social studies part 3 you will get a notification on your computer right away that I have uploaded social studies part 3 and you can go ahead and see the video so go ahead click that subscribe button right now Thank you for watching. You should watch these GSAT videos over and over again until you know them from memory. Repetition is important. You can always message me if you have any questions or need further help using my email address, my Facebook page or the telephone numbers that are shown on the screen. So bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.